Amanda McKay here for an exclusive interview with Shannon Lee, daughter of Bruce Lee. Next up, we're going to talk about your father's influence not only on pop culture, but also specifically on the video game industry. So first off, thank you so much for talking to us today. Um, I want to ask you, what kind of reaction did you receive when you released Quest of the Dragon? It was sort of a mixed reaction. I think people were really excited to, for a Bruce Lee video game to come out. <laughs> The reviews were sort of, it looked great, but it was kind of hard to play. It was a little clunky um, in terms of functionality, and so, you know, I don't think it was as great as it could have been. Help! He's too fast! And now, has there ever been any talk of turning maybe Enter the Dragon or Fist of Fury into a fighting game, or maybe even a new Versus-style fighting game with Bruce Lee as a central figure? There's definitely been talk. Um, I can't really say right now exactly <laughs> what's going on, but um, definitely. I mean, we're very excited. <laughs> But with next-gen technology and, of course, a better understanding of how to make games nowadays, what do you think would make the ultimate Bruce Lee video game experience? Well, you know, I think with, um, with the technology, I mean, you can make it so realistic now. And my dad was sort of the ultimate in style when it came to his presence on screen. I mean, he just oozed it. And I just think with the graphics and everything that you can do, it would be amazing to really viscerally be him, you know, and, uh, and you know, taste the blood and all that kind of great <laughs> stuff, all that style stuff that he did so well. <laughs> How do you think your father specifically influenced video games? Well, you know, my father was sort of like um, a real-life superhero. So in some ways, you know, he was a real man, but he could do things other people couldn't do. And so in the video game world, I mean, that's what it's all about, right? <laughs> like crawling inside someone else's skin and, and doing this stuff. And I just think, you know, if, to, to be able to be Bruce Lee, I mean, you know, I think it was such a, a great influence for video games and also obviously action and, you know, all the martial arts and stuff. So Shannon, considering how your father is nearly solely responsible for bringing Chinese martial arts to non-Chinese areas of the world, would you consider that one of his single greatest achievements? I definitely would consider that one of his single greatest achievements and I think if, if you were to ask him, he would definitely find that to be one of his greatest achievements because he considered himself a martial artist first and foremost and what he really wanted to express and bring to the world was the beauty of the Asian culture, the beauty of the martial arts and so to have done that, to have accomplished that goal is really a feat in and of itself and I think he would be very proud. But if you're asking me, I mean, I think that what he did for, showed for mankind is that if you truly express who you are from deep inside your being and work toward the actualization of that, that um, you can have a legacy that lasts forever. And I think that's why there's nobody like him. Well, that wraps up our exclusive interview with Shannon Lee. Thank you very much for talking to us today. Of course, you're going to want to check out more on the legend that is her father on Bruce Lee Day that's on June 24th only on Spike TV.